All right. Yay. So welcome to tonight's call, team call. We have decided to join forces, team Advent and team believers. So it's going to be an amazing call tonight, guys. Um, so listen up. It's May 9th. It's almost like, what is that? One third of May. So it's going like this. It's going pretty, pretty fast. So let's make sure to take advantage of everything that's happening around us and help more lives. So tonight's call is going to give you a lot of information and tools that is going to help you move your business forward. But reminders, tomorrow it is your um, summit registration or the hall um, registration. So you get to pick your hall. There's three halls. Make sure that you review that information. Make sure that you uh, select the hall that's going to benefit you as a leader and it's going to benefit you as a coach, all right, so that you can move your business forward accordingly. Um, and you get to obviously uh, pick one workout, one live workout, and then we have the super workout. So make sure you do that tomorrow. They will be sending you an email at 9, PM, 9 a.m. Excuse me, Pacific time, which is um, on the East Coast is uh, 12 p.m. So I'll wait for that. And then they send you the link. They even send you your registration code. And then you can go ahead and select that. So make sure that you review all that information before you go and select that. Also, remember, Challenge Pack, the All Access is on sale all the way through August. So Carl really, really wants us to help so many people meet their goals, right? So make sure that you're utilizing that. You guys know that um, it's May 16th that UV2, right, launches? It drops, Carlos? Yeah. So, yes. so everyone who has the all access, right, they're going to get that program immediately when it drops. So make sure that you are starting to talk to your um, Co uh, your coaches about it and also to your prospects about it, your challengers, anyone who is struggling, you know, in their fitness because maybe 21 Day Fix is too hard on them, this is the perfect program for them. So also to incorporate the, their kids, right? So make sure there's a, a split screen where the kids can join. So make sure that you guys are promoting that and opening it up to your team. So remind them May 16. And also um, the shift shop, uh, test group started two days ago, and that's going to drop in July. So make sure that, you know, um, you are talking to those coaches who are on your team that are in the test group so that when it's, when we, I'm sure we're going to have you know, a, a, um, a workout where you guys get to try it, and then you guys can, you know, build up the momentum for everyone. So, um, so I think those are the only, do you have any announcements, Nina, for your team? No, I think you cover everything. You're very good, girl. <laughs> now, now, let me add a couple things, though. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Before now, I, check this out, guys. For, I, summit, for Summit, we've got an amazing announcement. First time ever we're going to have instant translation or interpretation of all the main, uh, what's it called, uh, events at Summit into Spanish and Portuguese. And, and no, no Portuguese. French, Spanish, French. But the way we're gonna do it is through an app. You're gonna download an app into your phone and then you're just gonna put your, 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 your headsets into the phone and that's how you listen, which is super cool because there's no need for any additional equipment, nothing. So if you have people in your downlines who would prefer to listen to, to, uh, to Summit in Spanish or French, that's the way to do it. And they have to choose that when they're choosing their track, okay? I think that's so, track F, right? What? I think track F or hall F is the only one. It says it. I think it's the F one. I think it, it yeah, well, yeah, I will tell you which one it is. So just take a look and you will see which one you can do it. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's super fun because, you know, guys, we, we really are preparing to go international. And, and the company's doing a lot of things to do that and... And um, so, yeah, we'll be talking about some very cool stuff. And the other announcement I had was that um, that uh, May 16th, when we launch UV2, it will immediately be, uh, be available in Spanish also. Nice. Dubbed, not subtitled, dubbed. 
So you will listen to Leandro and the team in Spanish. Once again, it's an additional tool because you may meet somebody who says, yeah, I want to do this, but, but they want to be able to understand well what these guys are saying. You can say, hey, you can choose the track. You just go just like any other movie that you choose on Netflix or, or, um, or Apple TV. It, down below in the corner, it, you can choose the language that you listen to the sound in. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're aligning ourselves so we can expand internationally. In Spanish, is the easy trial, the easy test for us. So, yeah. Awesome. Oh, and because you talked about Summit, and maybe you can help me with this um, announcement, when um, the Success Club party. So yeah. you have to hit Success Club five each month, last month, and so the month of April and the month of May, but a combination of 20 Success Club together. So if you hit five last month, you have to hit 15 this month to be invited. Um, or if you hit 10 last month and 10 this month to be invited. So make sure, I mean, we have plenty of time. We still have two thirds of the month left to help more people so that you can go and, you know, mingle with other successful coaches and really pick their minds and celebrate each other. So that's something that's happening at Summit. What else? Uh, what other events? The um, leadership yeah. party, right? Leadership? Yeah, leadership, leadership ladder, yeah. leadership ladder, success club party. Those are parties by invitation only. So for you to qualify, like Gabriela was saying, to make sure that you hit success club the, the previous month and at least, at least, uh, I would say, um, success club seven this month. If you had 15 last month, right? And let me tell you why. So you guys need to think about this in numbers, right? If if, if the goal is to have success club 20 between April and May with a minimum of five and one and five and the other, you always want to be ahead by two points at least because yeah. you never know who's going to call and cancel. You know, so you never know when that's going to happen. So you don't want to miss out on this very fun opportunity to mingle with those who are in the same boat as you are running and rushing to, to, to achieve and help others by someone canceling on you. Mm -hmm. So what I usually tell coaches, and Nina's going to be the one that's going to tell you, and of course, Gabby, it's like, if your goal is to be a success club five, hit seven, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. if, if your goal is to be a success club 10, hit 12, because you never know what, when somebody cancels. Remember, we have that, we have that, we have that promotion. I mean, uh, it's not a promotion. It's part of our, of our deal is you've got 30 days to try your products. If for some reason you do not like them, you can return them. We'll give you money back. But for you as a coach, that means that you get the money, the, the points attracted. Now you may say, Oh, Carlos, we should stop doing that. No, it, it, it is a safety for the customer and our customers. You have to know this always. We want to make them feel comfortable and feel like they're making an investment that is completely worth their money and their time. So we say to them, hey, try this. If you don't like it in 30 days, we give you your money back. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you as a coach, your role is to make sure that they like it. Make sure that they're getting results. Make sure that your challenge group is so awesome that people are really saying, wow, this, this is amazing. I'm really, really uh, getting value out of this. And of course, they will stay for months after because they had the transformation and then start sharing with others. But uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I hope that. <laughs> Okay. Yes, and I know you'll go into it later. So, all right, so if there's no more announcements, let's kick this um, call off. I'm super excited to have joined forces with Nina for tonight's call, and we are lucky to have Carlos once again on our call. You guys know Carlos is amazing. He came out to New York for us to kick off our first ever Team Advin live training, so that was amazing. And I actually, it's funny, I, I, I met Nina for the first time in, uh, in Punta Cana, and I, you know, because we've spoken before, and, you know, we actually used to be mentored by Kim Carver, um, I felt like I already knew her, so when I saw her, I'm like, hey, and then, and then she's like, this is the first time we meet, and I'm like, really? <laughs> so that was fun, but um, I, I wanted to have this call because you know, uh, many of you guys know what the New Leader Conference is, and that is, you know, an event that everyone should go to if you haven't been. It is, you know, 
thing, like Carlos said, is by invitation only is um, for two star and above. And what I like about the new leader conference is that it really, you know, I mean, the company is amazing. You guys know this, but they really set it up where they're giving you tools, you know, to take your leadership to that next level. And I saw a live with Nina at uh, the New Leader Conference, and it was the first time that she was there, and Carlos interviewed her. So I, I figure, why not recreate that tonight, right here in our living rooms? I think that's going to be amazing. So let me introduce you guys all know Carlos Aguilera, right? He is the Team Beachbody Director of the Latino Market. So we are so lucky to work with him on a daily basis. And even on the weekends, this dude is like always working. He's amazing. Nina Sinistera, she is a mom and a, wife, and a wife. You guys saw her hubby, who is also in the test group for her shift shop. And you saw her daughter. She's a, um, she is actually, she found somebody and has lost, and she's going to tell you her story, 72 pounds, guys. Isn't that amazing? She is awesome. She is a two-star diamond coach. She is a full-time coach. She will go into her story. I'll let her do the honor. And she is a superstar in the making. So I'm going to give you guys the floor so that you guys can take it over. Carlos and Nina. Thank you so much, Gabby. We, I am super honored to be with your team again. You, you guys are awesome. And, of course, to see Nina's team also here is a special location because uh, – I, mean, I really like the idea of, of, of recreating that, that, uh, that conversation that Nina and I had on stage in front of about 300 two-star diamonds and above, the new leaders of Beachbody. And, and it was an amazing atmosphere, guys. I, I mean, I wish this for every single one of you. I mean, uh, Wendy and Rudy, uh, let me tell you guys, you need to be there. You know, Le Leo and Michelle. All of you guys, everyone's, every, I mean, James, every single one of you guys, you guys need to be there because it's an amazing opportunity to meet men and women who are building the business, who, who just qualified to two-star diamond or maybe three-star diamond. And it's the first time they actually get to go to our corporate offices in Santa Monica. And they, they hang out with uh, Carl Dykler, with Michael Neiman, with, uh, with um, Jeff Hill and, uh, and, and, and the super trainers, you know. And it's super fun. It's super fun to see how small of a group. I mean, you, you're basically you're you're bouncing into these guys, right, Nina? Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and and the cool thing is this: you get to see that these guys are people just like you and I, and their purpose, their mission, really is to change the lives of others. And so when they ask me, say, Carlos, we would like to have a special guest from the Spanish market, Latino market to be our, our, our testimony, someone to, to share with us her journey and why has Beachbody impacted her life. And that's why I said, you know what, the, the, the person that immediately came to my mind was, was Nina Sinistera. I guess on, on, she's an amazing coach. She's an amazing leader. But also her story is very inspiring. And thus, I've got with you guys here, Nina Sinistera, a two-star diamond, who is an amazing woman, a, a, a amazing mother, and, and she has a great husband. And she's going to tell us a, a, a bit about herself. So the first question I have for you, Nina, okay, is like, who's Nina? And where did you come from? What's your story? What do you tell us? Well, Carlos, um, and thank you, Gabriela, for having me here. I am originally from Colombia. I'm 38 years old. I came when I was 22 because I got a scholarship to go to University of Miami. I love Miami and United States, so I decided to stay. It was, um, it was kind of like an immediate reaction. I graduated, started working uh, in marketing for 17 years in the healthcare industry. Um, and then four years after I was here, I went back uh, to Colombia for vacation, and I imported my husband. Imported her husband, guys. I imported my husband. He was living in Colombia. I just went from vacation, and I, I called him, and we dated. A little bit for five days, a little bit crazy. <laughs> and uh, when I came back, he called me back like uh, two weeks later, and he's like, "We have to be married. We have like we we have to like get together and live together either there or here." And I'm like, "I'm not moving back. If you want to move here, you're welcome to join the party." So we got married 
And by Fe this is December, by February 14, we're one of those cheesy ones, Valentine's, and we got married on Valentine's. And it's been uh, 13 years now. So it's, it, that was those five days dating were worth it. <laughs> Nina, you know, I, I love to see the way you guys interact. Of course, you're, you're an amazing family and, and, and great things. You've, you, you're a successful woman, too, in the professional life. And, 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 uh, and, and tell us about that. I mean, where, what do you do? You graduate from college? And you I, went, I graduated from college. What are your goals mind, always? Well, I've, I love to work, Carlos. And, and um, so I've been working in the healthcare industry by mistake because I was always afraid of blood. So I didn't want any like blood in my life, but that's where God placed me. And thank God it was behind the scenes under like doing marketing, doing business behind everything. And, um, and I did it. I graduated from FIU um, with my marketing degree. Then I, I have an MBA from NSU. And I work 11 years for a great company, then two years for Baptist, which is a top 100 company to work for, actually number six. Uh, fortune company to work for and uh, Beachbody came into my life two years ago and I started building up my, my business working my business and in October last year I came home uh, to lead my team to continue and, working on this dream. Amina, but before we go on go ahead tell us, one of the things that you and I discussed when we were talking is that even though you were finding all the success in life you know work study love there was always a shadow something yes that was uh, you tell us so it's it's true um i've struggled always since i was a little kid carlos with obesity uh since i was a little you know how like christmas is super exciting time you always um like when you're a kid you're expecting christmas and every christmas for some reason my mom and my my grandma especially would give me the wrong dress like the wrong size and I would never fit in the clothing because I was big. I was overweight. I've struggled with obesity my entire life. So every Christmas, it was the same story. Like, they would give me a bathing suit. They would give me an, a beautiful dress, and I just couldn't fit in it. And I remember, uh, and my, my, my grandma immediately is like, oh, just give it to the skinny cousin because I have a cousin that looks exactly like me. Just give it to her. And I remember crying, and I, and I always say, no, no, I promise you that I will lose the weight. Don't give it to her. Wait for me. Um, and every year was the same story, and I was always bigger and bigger because, unfortunately, I come from a family of heavy obesity, big, big obesity. My grandma died with diabetes, blind. She, she couldn't even it – was, it was a very sad ending. Uh, my mom is 67 years old, and she cannot walk. Uh, she has a new replacement. She has all the issues that obesity brings into your life. Um, so it's I have a struggle personally, and I've seen it. You know, I know what it does to your, and, your and, family. And, and Nina, how has that? I mean, that that issue you you've had with obesity, with with that uh, impacted your life with your husband, with uh, with your vacations, with your pool. Everything, Carlos, you know that. So we, I, I've, I have a strong personality. I have a strong will to succeed. I have a strong will, will to do amazing things because I, I, I believe that I was born for something big. I didn't know what it was, you know, like, and I don't, I'm working on it. And I will have a lot, a lot of success. We bought our dream home with a beautiful pool and jacuzzi in Miami. And I convinced myself and I convinced my husband that I didn't want to go in the pool, that it was hard, that my hair was going to get damaged. And to tell you the truth, I just didn't want to go in the pool because I was embarrassed with myself. I wasn't happy the way that I looked. Um, I always battle obesity. But then after having my, my daughter, it just went up like crazy. I gave, I gave birth at 252 pounds. I started doing crazy diets. And the, my weight skyrocketed to 274 when I recorded it. And now, tell me about your family. I mean you always had somebody who was your guardian tell me about the last time you spoke to him your brother so three years ago carlos i went to colombia and he when he saw me he's like you you lost your battle with obesity he is then my my best friend my brother he never deals with either, either you're fat or skinny i'm beautiful i'm his little sister he's always caring for me so he never really mentioned anything that was it that was my sore topic like obesity is my sore topic you know, like, if you want to hurt me, go there. You know, like, tell me something about it. So he never mentioned anything. And that three years ago, exactly, he, he mentioned, he's like, you lost your bottle. You need to do something. You need to have bariatric surgery. 
Those were his words. So we started looking into options. Thank God I was um, already into my vacation. I didn't have seven days, full days. So I couldn't have it done because he took me. He's like, we're going to go. He had already seen pictures, he, you know, like FaceTime and everything. He was just like dropping the bomb right there when he saw me. But he had everything planned. So we went to the doctor. It was $7,000 to have it done cash. And I said, no, no, and then they needed seven days. I needed seven full days and I only have five days. So I said, no, 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 wait, let me go to Colombia, to the United States and I'll, I'll come back in June. And when I came, when I came, I started looking into all the options. I applied for the surgery here because I have a great insurance. My company is amazing, was amazing, and they declined the, the, the surgery. And between that April and June, I gained more weight because I, I was going to have the surgery, right? So I ate myself out, and I was so nervous. I really didn't want to have it done. And my, it was against my husband. My husband used to tell me, if they're going to do a surgery of your brain, I may let you have the surgery. But they're, you're, nothing's going to change. They're just going to cut your stomach, and you're still going to have a, like a, a, a horrible relationship with food. So... I, at that point when they declined the insurance, my coworker, who I, I've worked with her for 11 years, she, like, I'm, I, I, re, I got a new job, my dream job, at the same time, everything happened at the exact same time, so I was giving her my, my position, I was handling over all my work and everything, and I see her, and I, I notice that she's, like, thinner, and I'm like, Kari, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm doing some DVDs at home and drinking a shake, and I'm like, I don't want a shake, but I, what is what is, what is it with the DVDs? And she goes, well, it's DVDs at home. And I said, no, you know what? My prayer has been that I need to have a healthy relationship with food. I need to learn how to eat healthy. She goes, oh my God, haven't you seen your social media, Facebook? They're like, they have this new program that they, they just launched 21 Day Fix. Why don't we do it together? And I said, no, I don't have anybody on Facebook. By the way, I had my, all my, like my friends on Facebook were very limited. I, I didn't take any pictures with my daughter. If you tag me on a picture, I will make sure that I deleted that picture because I was so ashamed of my, myself. I worked in marketing and I, you will never see me on stage or like doing anything. I will make sure that somebody will go out and talk and do the marketing, but not like I was behind the scenes. Because I was afraid. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't happy about myself. You know, like I hated myself. I didn't want to see myself in the mirror. So I decided to order the 21 Day Fix with no shake. She ordered it with the shake. We started doing it together. She was 185 pounds and I was 274. She lost 16 pounds and I lost 8 pounds. And I was so pissed because I'm like, you're cheating me. Uh, I'm, you know, when you're bigger, you lose weight faster. So I'm like, you're cheating me. You're making me eat all these calories. Because it was my first, the first time in my life that a diet allowed me to eat 2,800 calories. I came from the 500 calorie diet, 1,200. You know, this was a lot of food. And I loved it. And I, I loved the, the home DVDs. Like, the whole thing worked for me. But I wasn't happy. I was like, but why? You lost a lot of weight. And she's like, Nina, the shake has something. You have to try the shake. So she is not a salesperson. She's been my coworker for 11 years and she's telling me this and she's lost 16 pounds plus more. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to give it a try. I had two other brands of shakes in my house. So I'm like, you know what? My husband is going to kill me, but I'm just going to try it. So I did. I bought the, I bought, I became a coach. So she told me, she's like, Nina, you need to lose a hundred pounds. So you need to earn a discount at 25%. Why don't you like do it? I'm like, okay, I trust you whatever you say, but do not tell anybody that I'm a coach. If you tell someone that I'm a coach, I'm going to kill you. But why? Why wouldn't you want to be called a coach? Carlos, I was 274 pounds. I couldn't even, like, I was getting myself out of a hole. How could I, you know, like, like coach anybody on something that I have struggled with my, my entire life? So I was embarrassed. Honestly, I, I was embarrassed to like say that I was a coach. And it took me so long and I regret it. I regret it because it took me uh, six months to be able to like embrace it. And then the following six months, I kind of stayed it, but it, I wasn't really like owning it. So I signed up as a coach. He was smart enough to add me to a team page and to a challenge group. So I started seeing in the team page personal development, you know, what, what books are you reading? What are you doing? Uh, you should be reading the, the uh, compound effect. So I was quiet, but I was paying attention. Like I, you would not see me posting or, or doing anything, but I was there, you know, like I had really, my social media was very quiet. Like I was never in a group. I didn't know a group existed. <laughs> so when I discovered all this world and I worked in marketing, by the way, 
that is another thing for like that attracted me a lot because there she started telling me that this girl got inducted into a millionaire's club and this from social media i'm like how can you build a business from facebook you know like i just couldn't like get it but my marketing background because up to then was traditional marketing so i started like researching understanding i i saw what a group was and how it worked so i started um uh, reading and reading the personal development book and one of the book the book says accountability you need to post it if you're having an issue you should post it and tell the world so one sunday after mass i kind of like got the strength to went out and out loud and posted that i needed help accountability that a new program was going to be launched p90 and that i wanted uh to transform my life that i had already started but i needed more accountability because i was at that point, I was 254 pounds. I pulled out my, my stats today. I started like pulling out everything. And I, so I started uh, P90, sharing it completely. And in January, Monica Lopez, my upline, she made it to a lead that year. And she posted in the team page that she was having uh, wine and cheese. And that I should come, that everybody should come to her house. So I clicked and I noticed that it was five minutes away. By this time, by the way, my friend that introduced me to this, she had quit. She was gone. She was like, I'm, I'm out. I already lost my weight or whatever. She bought a house. She put, like, I never saw her again. And I moved to my new job. So, but I, I wanted more of this. I wanted to continue. And I saw Monica Lopez. So when I clicked, I, I saw that it was five minutes away from my house. So I went, I drove by myself. It took me an hour. I was so nervous because I was going to a beach body event and the word beach body for an obese person, it just scares the hell out of you. Like you have no idea. So finally, when I made it, I went down and I started seeing another overweight people, not that many. <laughs> I was the biggest in the room for real, for sure. And they, but they were super nice. And Monica, when she saw me, she was like very warm, very nice, very like, if you want to work this business, this is what you need to do. Register for summit, register for the success club trip. And, um, and those two words register in my brain. And next day when I came home, I'm like, I'm going to register. So I started reading, understanding what it was. And I registered for the success club trip. And I made up my mind at that, in that meeting, I more than anything, more than the business to tell you the truth, it was that I needed to heal myself. And I said, if I can keep myself accountable, and invite people and invite myself another 21 days because I couldn't keep up with a, with a program, you know, like it, before. So I said, every time that I, because I'm very responsible, I'm very success oriented, like, uh, and if I invite someone, like I kind of leave them hanging. So to me, every time that I register someone was kind of like buying me another 21 days, another 30, you know, like two more pounds of my journey because I will help them and I will lead by example and I will have to get up for them. And I still do. Like I, and I always tell my team, I get up for, the, for, for them. I post my pictures for them. And then from, you know, for the new people that are coming up. So I'm going to share a picture of me when I started my journey. That, that was me before. I was looking for the after picture. <laughs> um, that I... I Hold on, I don't know what that is. I posted it. I, I was selecting them today because for the first time I applied to, I was before, those, those were my before pictures. This is my after picture of my back. Uh, and uh, Carlos gave me this bathing suit, my husband, for, for my birthday, August 20, uh, August 1st. And I was 200 and I was my heaviest. And I remember crying for four hours. I sat down and cry and cry and cry and I, and he couldn't, he's like, but what's wrong? I just, I think it's, you're beautiful. I think that you need to go in the pool. And, uh, and I said, no, I just don't want my daughter to see me this way. You know, like, I don't want to go in the pool this way. What would you give me a bikini? To me, that was the biggest offense ever. And I remember getting up and telling him, take pictures because this is going to change. I had already signed up in June, already knew what could be possible. So that's why I took the pictures I mean, because I, I, because before I never took before pictures, like you will not see me taking any before pictures. So I've lost 72 pounds and my, my life completely changed completely. You guys have any questions? <laughs> Carlos? Yeah. Well, I want to share something. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. Look at her presenting right here, guys. See uh, you. 
so yeah, I was a marketing person that never spoke in public. And it's not because I was afraid, because honestly, I've never been afraid of speaking, um, of public speaking. I just, I wasn't happy, secure about me. So I didn't want anybody to see me. Um, I, I said it at a new leadership and I said, we, we have something special here. Uh, we have the, a true solution and it's, it'd be too selfish not to share it. E, and Nina, thank you so much for sharing this with us. I know that, uh, that it, it brings a lot of emotions to, to all of us who are engaged in this because the thing is this, what you went through, what you've, you've lived It's not an isolated case. There are hundreds of thousands of women who are fun, who are very successful, who love their families, who love their kids, yet they carry around this, this, this sadness, internal sadness. And, and let me tell you, it's not like they haven't tried things. Nina, how many things did you try? I mean, the magic pills, what, 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 did, you, what did you not try? Every, no, no, I tried it. Bariatric surgery was my last option, to tell you the truth. Everything, everything, Carlos. We did uh, the ACG diet, and it got me so sick. I got a cold. After I did lose the 20 pounds, and I got a cold, and I gave it to my daughter. My daughter was in ICU for 11 days. Could have been from a school. Could have been that I gave it to her. I blame myself. And I remember in the hospital crying and telling my husband, We're, I'm never going to go into one of those crazy diets. And that's when my weight skyrocketed. That's when I, because I decided not to do anything else. I didn't have an option. And that's interesting, Nina, you say that because the reality is this, when you do not fit yourself right, guys, when you're starving yourself or going into crazy diets, you do not allow your body to have the minerals, the vitamins, the bioactives it needs to protect you from illness. Mm -hmm. So people are constantly dieting. Yeah, they're more, more likely to get sick. Now, I was talking to a coworker today, and she was saying, you know what? I, don't, I, 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 I never tell my children that I am dieting. I am using a program, a, a fuel program, to know how to feed myself. And I love that this lady is like almost 50 years old, and she looks amazing. But it's because she's been doing beach body programs for years and years. She knows how to feed herself. And that's one of the things that I really impacted me from your story, Nina. You said, you know, I learned how to eat right. I learned that if you, you, yeah, you can eat right, you can eat what you want as you learn to put it in portion controls, right? As you learn how to exercise along with your, with your eating. And, and I love that. And And once again, now, of course, Nina is, is doing a phenomenal job with her business. She continues to grow and, and is an inspiration to others. So now, what I wanted to say to you guys, I'm a little excited, I'm hitting the computer here, <laughs> is that the key to a successful beach body business is to tell your story, to tell it as it is. And I know I may have things that you don't want anybody to hear about yourself, about your weaknesses. But let me tell you, the more you share your, your persona, who you are, the more you will connect with those women and men who need to hear what you have to say. Because once again, I mean, it, it is interesting because Gabby and I were talking this morning and we're talking about the size of the United States. It's one of the largest nations in the world. Over 300 and 50 million people live here 220 million people live here and um and 75 percent of the u.s is overweight and obese guys take note of that when carl deichler when carl deichler says hey there are millions of people millions of people who need what you have found who need what you have experienced Success with. He's not kidding. Really, it is. And, 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 and let me tell you, we can, we can do so much good by sharing what we have. Now, Nina, tell me, how has your emotional life changed since Beachbody? Tell us. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. My, Mary, my husband was saying it in Punta Cana. It was, uh, we were sitting at a restaurant, and, and he told one of Santiago, one of Paola's husband, 
uh, it saved my marriage. It saved our marriage. Not because we were having issues, because honestly, we didn't know that we, but it wasn't heading in the right place. You know, like I was hiding. I, I, I used to hide to get dressed, Carlos. I used to like run from the bathroom to the closet, you know, and it, I hated myself. I just didn't like myself. So how can, if you don't like yourself, you're just never going to, like, you're not going to like allow anybody to like you. And, uh, and now, like, I do, um, I still have to lose 40 pounds. I'm still big, you know, like, but I was so happy in Punta Cana wearing my bikini. Like, Paola is completely ripped. She's, uh, she's ripped from her, like, head to toes. And I was standing next to her, and I was so happy. I couldn't care. Like, I, before, I would have been traumatized. You know, like, I would have not taken off my shirt. And I, I, that, like, we were jumping on the beach. And I, I was so, I'm proud of what I have accomplished, you know, with, with cellulites and everything that I still have. But I'm like so proud of like, it's just like, it's liberating. You know, like it's liber I found a way of living. I found, um, I still have to, like I'm still working on something. There is something missing up here still because I, have, I need to break my 200 pounds and I kind of like push to the next level. And, and, but it's a process. I've learned that it's a process that I come with a lot of baggage. My overweight comes with a lot of baggage. It's not a... And, and it's interesting you say that because one of the keys that our most successful coaches do every day, besides inviting, besides being a product of the product, is personal development. And I loved how you said that you, you, you started reading a book that asked you to ask for help, asked you to go out and get out of that closet and tell people, this is who I am, this is what I'm going to do, please help me achieve it. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, and I've, I've done so many programs, Carlos. I've done so many things, and I never knew what personal development is. And I've been a person of faith my entire life, thank God, uh, extremely. Like, I'm very faithful. The, guy, the man above and me have a great relationship. Uh, so it wasn't about it. You know, when I, when I started about personal development, I was like, I, I don't need that. You know, like, I have a great relationship with, with and it wasn't about, it, it, it's something different. Personal development is something different that helps you control the voices in your head and overcome like fears and move you forward. And, it, and then when you move on with your journey, you start reading about something else. Like right now I'm reading like the miracle morning cause I need to like use my morning, right? So it, it just it expands you into different levels, but personal development is key in this journey. Cool. So guys, be product of the products work. We're using them. Personal development. The next one is invite, 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 invite. And that's, I'm, I want to take a, a minute now and, uh, and to tell you about the size of the market. The US Spanish market is a 58 million people market, guys. 58 million. That is about 20% or 19% of the total US population. And, 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 and it's a market that is super, super big. It's super engaged, engaged in social media. Latinos, we, we, we love to be in social media. We love to share. The things we like, we tell everybody. Okay, we tell everybody. Okay? We, we also uh, are very big spenders. We like to spend money. Even though people won't say that. <laughs> when you look at the marketing stats, we like to spend money. But we spend money in companies we trust, in people we trust. So that's why I, was, I, would, I would tell you, as you're approaching the Spanish market, be super sincere as you do your live calls. And so people can, are attracted to you as a person, not, not so much as a company, but as, as a person, because this business is, a, is person to person. But I wanted to share with you a couple of stats that I think are going to help you see this. And is that okay, Gabby? Do we have a couple more minutes? I promise I will not take more than a, like uh, seven more minutes, guys, and then you'll be free to go, okay? Is that okay, Gabriela? Okay. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. Shoot. Okay, so you will. I am, okay. hang on one second, one second, one second. I'm about to share it right now. And it's this one here, okay. So I'm sharing this screen here. This is gonna give you some stats. 58, 57 million, 58 million in the US, 18% total US population, $1.7 trillion in buying power. 
you know, 42%, for almost 43% of Latinos are overweight or, or obese. This, these are huge numbers, huge. But now if you're talking about direct selling, basically all the companies who sell like Beachbody, such as Avon, Mary Kay, you know, uh, Herbalife, all those, in the US alone, there are 20 million coaches of all those companies together. But all, out of those 20 million, 4 million, 4 million are Hispanics. Think about that. Think about that. That tells us that there's a big percentage of Latinos who are interested in a coaching opportunity. If you're looking for new coaches, okay, I, I promise you, anybody would will, 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 will be interested in what we have just because of who we are, Beachbody. But there is a likelihood that you'll find more Latino coaches interested in actually building the business. That's food for thought. Okay? Now, 33 million of these Latinos, of these 57 million Latinos, prefer to do business in Spanish. And those are the actual adults that are the parents of those other 18 million who speak English, right? Um, and prefer to do business in English or interact in English. These are, these are stats that, that give you an idea that, that this market in itself is more like a country. Take a look at this. Take a look at this, guys. This is Spain, Canada, and the United States Spanish, okay? Not the entire US, US Hispanic market. And from 2013 to now, in 2016, you can see that the US Spanish market has grown larger than the country of Canada and the country of Spain. That is that's super impressive because when we, when we get together here at corporate and we're talking up, we're trying to talk strategy. We're talking, okay, which country we're going next? In, in fact, by, by, the, by the way, on the 22nd, we're going to make the announcement of the next country Beachbody's going to go to. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, keep that in mind. But as we sit down and say, well, where are we going next? And we're looking at all these numbers and I'm looking at these numbers and I'm saying, hey, the US, the U.S. Spanish market is larger than those markets we want to go to. And the question is, are we taking opportunity? Are we taking the opportunity to do this? Now, these guys right here have done so. Look at this. These are the most successful companies targeting Latinos in the U.S. U.S. Spanish. Look at this, McDonald's, me encanta. Isn't that interesting? It's like they're preparing the way. See, McDonald's eh, feeds them, eh, gets them all sick, and then we, we come with a solution. <laughs> yeah, Toyota, okay, Walmart, precios bajos todos los días, siempre, Dish Latino, okay, AT&T. All these companies have realized that there is a huge opportunity with the Spanish market, and they're, they're, they're doing a lot of things, okay? Now look at these numbers. This is for 22 minute hardcore. See, Latino men are leading in overweight and obesity rates. If you look, of all adults, 37% obesity and overweight, right? But look at the Latino, then blacks, Latino, and then white. Latino are, look at these numbers, 78%. Men, men. So when you say, well, my business is focused on, uh, on, on, on girls, that, that's fine. But let me tell you, you can find someone like Leo Asano, is that Leo? <laughs> who will be the guy who's going to take you into the, the guy demographic. It may not be you. It may not be you who's saying, I'm going to target guys now. You, you find one guy that you can build with, and he will take over that market. And the same thing with the Spanish market. It may, you may not speak Spanish, but if you find a Latina who's bilingual, like Nina or like Gabriela, then it's easy for you, even though you do not speak the language, to build in the Spanish market. The only thing you need to do is provide the training that Nina's and Gabriela's need to succeed. And that's what happened with Monica. Is that right, Nina? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Monica, Monica's English. 
Yeah. And but she gave the training. Yeah. And then you realize, hey, this is the market that I'm going after, which is the Latinas, right? Yeah, which by the way, I had not even realized it until you came on board. You're like, your team is all Hispanic. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and I was like, look, I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Hey guys, let me tell you, this, this, look at these numbers. $7 billion of spending in direct selling companies happens from Latino coaches in the U.S., right? Now, look at this company, company Herbalife. They sell a billion dollars in the U.S. alone. Just in the U.S., a billion dollars a year. 64% of that billion comes from Spanish-speaking Latinos. I mean, if we round up the numbers, $640 million in sales in Herbalife are generated by Spanish-speaking Latinos in the U.S. Isn't that crazy, guys? Isn't that crazy? It's like saying that 200,000 coaches from Beachbody are all Latinos. Imagine that. Who do you think is going to be the sponsor or the upline when all those Latino coaches come up? Because they will come, I promise, they will come. Those who are building now, the Ninas, the Nildas, the Gabrielas, those of you who start building in Spanish now are the ones that are going to have in their downline these thousands of people who will come to us. Because let me tell you, we are aligning ourselves so we can help. Because we know that's what we need. In the, in, in the, in the, uh, in the U.S. Spanish market, we're very small right now. We only have 9,000 coaches, of which 4,000 of them are, are uh, what's it called? Um, Spanish speaking? And no, 4,000 of them are are active, you know, or discount, 4,000 discount coaches. So we only have about 5,000 who are really building the business, you know. Now, what happens when we start building the U.S. Spanish market? Now we're getting all these tools. We have 15 programs completely dubbed into Spanish. Every new program that comes out is immediately available in Spanish on Beachbody On Demand. Okay, we're translating more and more equipment uh, programs. Uh, we have uh, Summit in Spanish. Then we have La Cumbre Latina. All these things are helping us prepare for this. After we have conquered the U.S. Spanish market, this is what we're going after, guys. I just want you to give you an idea. Latin America, Latam, that's a Latam, okay? That's what we call Latam, Latin America, is a market that is 626 million people in it. I'm talking about Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, a, a, a Argentina, Chile, Peru, Ecuador, all these countries. 626 million market with one of the highest obesity rates per capita in the world. And where Herbalife, OmniLife, Lavelle, Natura, and other competitors have created and enjoy a billion dollar business for over a decade. So Mexico is bigger than Beachbody right now in Mexico because of their sales. But let me tell you, we have much better programs, much better products. We have much better coaches because our focus is truly to help people get results. See, full, full circle in this call, guys. See, we started by saying the reason why we're here, yes, is to build a business. Yes, is to pay that credit card debt you have. Yes, maybe to save for college for your kids. Maybe yes to, 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 to fund your next business, Nilda. Yes, that's the reason why you're doing building this business. But the only way you're going to get to that is by ensuring that people like Nina achieve their goals. And you know what? We've got everything for it. And I know that we can do this. I know it because we're, we're building it. I mean, we've grown so much in the U.S. Spanish market just in the last year, over 122% growth from year over year. And that's because of, of people like me now and you who, have, who see the mission. Well, my invitation is to, hey, let's get to work. There's so much to do. Whatever language you want, you should do it. In, in English or in Spanish or in French, we're ready to go. And on the 22nd, we'll tell you about the new country Beachbody will be going to. 
So Gabby, thanks so much for the opportunity. Nina, it's always a pleasure to speak with you, <laughs> to be on stage with you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, it's a pleasure. That was so amazing. I mean, mm. just listening to Nina's story once again, for here to us, you know, it, it's so inspiring and it touches home because I think everyone, you know, can attest that we all have family members that are suffering you know, because of obesity, because of overweight. I mean, I don't have to go that far to say that, you know, in my family, we have diabetes and we have high blood pressure and high cholesterol and sleep apnea and the list goes on and on and on. And Nina, you know, was courageous enough to say, hasta aquí, right? Right here, it ends with me because she doesn't, she wants to pay it forward to her daughter so that her daughter doesn't suffer like she did. And we have the power to help so many people, you know, reach the success that Nina has. And, and, and we have the tools. I mean, Beachbody is amazing, like Carlos was sharing with us. I mean, look at the statistics, guys. The Hispanic community is suffering high numbers of people who need our, our help. And we're so afraid to reach out and say, I can help you. I am here to help you. And so tonight's call, if it didn't open up your eyes and your heart, right, and your mind to say that, you know what, if it helped me, it helped you. If you're here is because it helped you and it helped your family and it helped, you know, you're helping other people, then just reach out to three, five people daily so that we can continue to pay it forward and help more Ninas and more Gabbies and more, you know, um, Nilda and Marisol and Amy, I mean, just so many people that need us. And I think this was such a powerful call. And just to see it with statistics, you know, that back it up, that there are people that are suffering. Yeah. Davi, I want to say something because when I started two years ago, I, so I joined this team that I didn't know existed. I didn't know any of them. And they were Cuban Americans. And when I started, I said, oh, they took Miami. You know, like they have Miami. I'm late to a party. I'm like, Forget about it. And, uh, but, and then my husband would tell me, you're not here for the business. You're here for you. <laughs> you know, like, don't worry about the business. Remember, we need to heal you. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You're right. But I, but I love the business. I want it. And they already took it. And I'm late to a party. And thank God that I didn't let that, um, you know, like, like not stop me from the business because no late to a party. It's just like, now I see it. Now, now at this moment, after two years of working the business, I see the potential that we are like this big and where we can be is a, a Herbalife with better products, you know, like, or like well, yeah, Nina, Nina, I want you guys listen to this. And, and I hope, I don't know if, if you have the, the feeling of, of competitiveness, cause I'm, I, I'm, I love team sports and, and I love to compete. <laughs> Let me tell you this, please listen. There is a company that I'm not going to mention, but launched two years ago, two years ago, their sole focus, and they're actually based out of Miami, and you know. They're I know, so I know which one is. I think to sell products yeah. to Latinos, and their products are not good. And they're triple they're the price. Sixty-five million dollars a year, sixty-five in two years. You just have to, guys. You just have to tell people what you have, because your solution is much better than anything out there. I promise. I, I, I mean, you, I mean, you guys are examples of this. You know it. Now just get out there and just tell people what you have. Because you know what? People are tired of fajas. They're tired of miracle pills. They're tired of crazy diets. They're tired of, 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 uh, of shakes full of air. And you've got the solution. It's and a sin not to share it. You know that I was told uh, in one of the personal development talks, and I think it was John Maxwell, and he said, it's, 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 you're making a sin if you don't share, you know, like something so good that you found or like your gifts. It's like, and because I get a lot of questions. My mom keeps send, telling me, you're crazy. You know, like, you're crazy, mamita, hasta cuando? You know, like, how far are you going to push it? And now she's better because she sees, you know, like she's seen it more. But the first year I got a lot of objection because of it. Hey, one more thing I need to add. Okay. Our company pays a very good compensation. Of that billion dollars we sell a year, more than half goes to compensate the coaches to taking them on amazing trips 
to paying them phenomenal bonuses and commissions. So imagine right now the Spanish market is about 13 million. Imagine if we, we take it, you and I, all of us here, we take it to 100 million. Who do you think is going to be benefiting from those bonuses? It's you guys. I know you're not motivated with my money, but you need to know that too. You need to know that too. I mean, if the company is bringing in revenues, we are sharing them, I promise. And those checks will go to you. So, yeah, that's why I had to say sorry. I'm a little excited there. Thank you, Carlos, for everything. You've made such a big difference in, in my life, personally. You changed my life more than Beachbody, I think. <laughs> Beachbody is blessed to have you. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes, they are. And we are. Yes. We are. Yeah. We are. This, so he, doesn't, he doesn't stop. Like, you know, he's at home. He's in pro. Like, you're, you're working from home, and we... We appreciate you. We appreciate it. We appreciate it because we know we're taking time away from your work, from your home. Yes, tell mm -hmm. Annie we appreciate her too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, guys. I, 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 tonight, it was amazing. Thank you. Cold yeah, let's get a picture taken. Do we have any questions in the chat? I have a question. You have a question? Go ahead. Who is yeah. this? Carlos, are you really going to make us wait till the 22nd? <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> can you at least can, can is it at least a land country no, please it's, not a land country. <sighs> it's in the works it's in the works we really got to work on that sir. but let me tell you this i mean we i mean i i had a question a direct question from michael Lima. I said carlos so how many uh colombian coaches do we have he said please <laughs> identify him because we, we want to know what our chances are going going into colombia now, I have no date, I have no plans yet. Well, I always have the plans ready, by the way. <laughs> but uh, but, um, but uh, the company right now is launching their first international co uh, country, and um, they've never done this before. I mean, that, that's one of the reasons I'm here, because I've done this before so many times. It's like, they say, come, come over here so we can, we can expand. And so we're gonna be launching this new country, and then soon after, we'll be announcing other things. Latam? Yeah, yeah. So it's a locura. We're gonna go crazy. Hashtag, madam. Hashtag yeah, but I know this. The thing is this, guys. If if let's say that tomorrow we announce, okay, we're going to Argentina, okay, or we're going to to Colombia. My question is this: Are you in liberty to catch a flight or to start building or having the the financial resources to feel comfortable to go train your new coaches? in Bogota or in Medellin or in Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. My invitation to you is this, get to 10 Star Diamond. So you can participate in those awesome bonuses. So, so when, when we tell you in, in, in less than 20 days where we're going next, you can say, hey, you know what? You look at your husband and say, hey, why don't we just go over there and see how these guys are doing business in that area of the world. But you can only do do that if you're a 10 star diamond or above. What well, just a thought? We have we have to work. <laughs> you guys need to be a new leadership conference next year. The yeah. new leadership conference was a life changing for me, and it's easy. Honestly, it, I mean, it's funny because once you do it, you you say that it's easy, right, Gabriela? Like once you like you when you see it, you're like, oh my god, how am I gonna make it? But truly, it's one account, you make it to Diamond, you know, like a control account, either your husband or, or your mom or a control account. And the other one, it has, has to be one of your coaches. So I did Luz was one of my coaches. And then uh, my brother was the, con the control account. And that's it. Keep going, you know. And I'll say, I'll say my, what my accounts were. It was my husband and my sister who was working the business at the time. So anybody can do it. Oh, she's not working in the business anymore? No, she's taking a step back. But, you know, she's amazing and she knows it. I'll send this call to her. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I think that, you know, if you set your mind and you set the date, I know that the first new leader conference uh, rolled out in 2015 and was announced in September um, at the leadership conference of 2014. And I had been a coach for, I don't know, a few months and I was a diamond coach when it was announced. And I said, I want, I want to go there. I want to make history. You know, it's the first one ever. And I said to my sister, here, 
you need to be diamond by this date. And I gave her a week before. <laughs> and, then I, and then I got to work and got hot hit to diamond. And, and, you know, she beat me and then I got there on, on, right on the deadline. So anybody can do it if your heart is in it. And I've seen you, Gabriela has made it to leadership. That's my goal right now. That's what I'm working towards. I have to be in Las Vegas. I've never been to Las Vegas. <laughs> Viva Las Vegas. Well, we have to go. Hmm? Cool. All right, guys. Hey, let's get a picture taken. Yes. I took a few. Dale, Batman. Okay, good. Batman is taking it? I took a few. Let me see. Pero cerrate los ojos, Carlos. Let's take one. Oh, Everybody's smiling. Let's Open eyes. Everybody's smiling. All right. Smile. Okay, tome como diez. Thank you, guys. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you for tonight. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, everyone, for hopping on. It was an amazing call. I'll send Thank you the you. Okay, perfect. Oh, bye. Bye, bye, Thank you. Bye.